Hello and welcome back to TCG Show and Tell. I'm your host Colton and today we are going to be talking about some big news in the Heroclix world. The 2020 rotation already has been announced and it has some spicy stuff in it and so it begs to a lot of questions. I have many questions to ask and checking out some things that are pretty different. Um, haven't seen these type of rotation type moves in a while so without further ado let's check it out Alright, so first we're going to be checking out how as of July 1st, 2020, it'll be set in stone, which allows us, if the Origin Game Fair still happens, the rotation will not have happened till after that has occurred, so you still get to use all these goodies there. Let's go down, so for... The five main booster sets, we've all kind of figured it go to the Avengers Affinity. So everything up to that point, which is, you know, Elseworld, Mighty Thor, Harley Quinn, Away Team, the first uh, Star, Star Trek uh, series. And then you got the Xavier School and then Avengers Infinity. So then we're going to go down to the Fast Forces, which is those sets pretty much. And you got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Xavier, Harley Quinn, and Avengers Infinity. Starter sets Elseworld, Mighty Thor, Away Team. Now it's the Away Team that's the original series, not the uh, new one. Micro sets, the Undead set, the Thor set, and the Away Team all gone. I mean, uh, Unplugged, my bad. So that means there's no more Mud Man, stuff like that. All that good stuff. Sorry for the people that went out and bought that one guy. He's going away. Alright, so con exclusives. Not spicy right there, but basically everything from 2017 is gone. So boxing ring, all that good stuff. Ape, Batman, all the apes, they're gone. Tokens. Pin Pocket Tank, gone. Uh, the next big hitter that no one really saw coming was the Blackbird and all its IDs. All ID cards. All the wanted ID cards, gone. Everything's gone from modern. All rotating out. Which is, that brings up a question. My first question is, uh, is this going to set a new standard for how they do rotation? Are they going to pick and choose every year different little things that are just overpowered and say, cut? Who, who knows? Maybe it, we'll see next year. <laughs> All right, mon monthly organized plays. Um, nothing says, I think the bishop is the one that's probably good, I think. But nothing really too stands out. Um, yeah, but the IDs are going to be pretty huge loss. Um, one thing that I can note that I've said before is the new Hulk from the Captain America set. Probably not so great anymore, huh guys? I mean, I've seen people arguing with me, uh, Saying that he has good good tent pull for ID card calling and stuff. Well, not anymore. And then same with uh, Sheriff Strange. He's pretty much obsolete now, which kind of sucks. He never really got to find a shining place. I mean, he was always there, but... Uh, anyways, so with that being done... What do y'all think is going to be the next big teams? I'm thinking it's going to be something Cosmic or something Hellfire Club. Because you're going to have to be watching out for those 
uh, Tri Sentinels and Dark Phoenix. And who knows, maybe Kobik might find a place with Dark Phoenix and see that kind of shenanigans going off again. Um, I'm wondering if they're going to actually errata the Tri Sentinel. If they do, I think it should be soon so people don't start trying to buy up all the Tri Sentinels and then get all pissed off whenever they say can't do the free retail on the nothing anymore. I think I think they do need to get rid of it. I think it's going to mess up a lot more if you don't, especially taking out ID cards. Don't think that's going to be a smooth move on their part. Mm, unless they do come out with another like colossal figure that's pretty good against him or maybe something that could um maybe a figure that like negates uh, blocking damage effects um, like ones where if someone destroys a blocking terrain and it deals damage it deals no damage instead that'd be kind of cool to see uh, uh, another question is uh, so I guess the um, sidelines are just going to be filled with uh, trouble alerts now so I'm sure everybody was like all happy that IDs are gone and that takes a huge cut off of teams price wise and stuff. But I mean, now you're just going to see people with like a couple firestorms and like a couple other things all on the team on the sideline. And you're just going to, every time people crit hit or crit miss, you're going to be bringing more figures in to deal stuff. And you're just, I think the crit hit one is a mistake to make because you're already on the roll. You're already doing great, and now you just get to bring in another figure that's just going to do more chaos. I don't know. Uh, it is interesting to see, seeing that IDs are going to be gone. I'm wondering how the meta will shape up from that. Uh, I'm interested to hear what your thoughts are, what your questions are about all of this. What do you think is going to be good? Do you think I'm wrong about the Hulk? Is he still going to be great in your eyes? Um... I think the Spider-Man is probably, I like him more than the Hulk, to be honest. Um, uh, the Justice League Unlimited set, pretty pretty excited, mainly just for the chases in that set. Nothing really in the set, kind of, I mean, we still probably have like a quarter or more of the set to see, but so far, just the chases really interest me. Uh, keyword wise, they don't really have too great of keywords. Um, I'm always looking for more cosmics. <laughs> Hard to find those in DC usually, but I know uh, Dark Side. He's looking pretty nice. I like him. I don't know if he'll. I don't know if big guys will make into the mon uh, meta this time around because of ID cards being gone. I think. Unless they have like some decent stop clicks, they're going to be taken out pretty fast. Especially if people are going to start bringing in Kobix again and being able to take away your team ability. That's going to be pretty gnarly now. Mm. And then not having to worry about people calling IDs to save their booties. Uh, what else? Yeah, so interested to hear what y'all have to say um i want to hear some questions some answers things that y'all might think will happen or be relevant into the new meta um what are y'all looking forward to playing in origins um depending on this whole thing i don't really want to mention any of it but i would like to it still to happen and attend it it'd be nice um I haven't been to Ohio in many, many years. It'd be really cool to go back there and reminisce on some old days while also be able to play some sweet hero clicks. Um, without further ado, uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. I appreciate it. I'm trying to do the giveaway when I hit my first hundred. Um, I really want to keep making more videos and 
basically entertain everyone the best I can, upgrade the most I can. Uh, it's mainly just more of a hobby for me, but something I enjoy doing, so I don't really mind doing it, no matter what. Um, so yeah, uh, please subscribe, like, share, do whatever you can. Um, I try my best to reply to everybody in comments. Sometimes it might take a little while. It depends on what's happening in my daily life. Uh, I do more than just this. I'm always doing something. So, uh, hope everybody has a great week. Uh, stay safe out there and, uh, enjoy the beautiful days and take care. TCG Show and Tell, signing out.